go. Hello, Internet. So um, today we're going to be talking about air modifier in 3DX Max. So I'm going to show you how to um, actually make use of realistic air in 3DX Max instead of just modeling geometry on top of a character like um, we had in Chike. That's, that's just geometry, although we made it look like air. But how about you have hair on your character that actually simulates to the character? Although in this tutorial, I won't be talking about simulation. We'll just talk about how to actually make the hair work in 3DX Max because you can actually make it static or you can make it move depends simulation is another thing so after this tutorial i'll show you how to simulate it so it's going to be a short one let's get started so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create a sphere so i'm sure you guys know how to create a sphere in case you don't know you can check out my tutorial on how to get started in 3 Max. it's in my playlist so just check it out so what i'm going to do i'm going to turn on edges and faces that's i'm pressing f4 so edges and faces so what i'll do is i'll add and um edit modifier edit poly modifier so i'm adding edit poly modifier okay great so this looks so realistic right now and i'm just kidding anyways so okay so i'll select um, a portion of the sphere so let's just say this is your character's air you can see we are shaping it look let me go to my left view so um, i'll just hold my control my control key then i'll select a portion of it so now let's say we want the head to come this way like so this is the back of the head and this is the front so what we'll do now what we need to do now rather is to um, go back to my i'll go back to my perspective so i'll look at the character like this so so what i'll do now is i'll go to my modify panel it's on the right um, on the right side of the screen you can see there so i'm going to select the modify list and I'll type AM4 but you don't really need to type it because it's already here at the first that, that's like the first thing you see the moment you click the list so it just drops down then you select AM4 it's a word space modifier the thing about word space modifier is um, they actually uh, move with the object so um, they move with the objects but they use a um, word space um, technology I don't know how they do that I don't I don't develop softwares like this so um, I'll select that and for some reason it just disappeared because our character uh, my selection was altered so i'll go back and just select am4 so you need to make sure your selection is still intact before you select am4 so it only shows the hair so it only shows the hair um yeah so it only shows the hair in that area i i'm gonna reply to everybody no, how are you doing guys okay so you can see now because i, I selected and now we have air all over the character but what we need to achieve is just to make the hair show uh, in this particular area so what you need to do is um to be smart about it so what i usually do is i select my character uh let me just turn this off for now let's come back to the selection so what i usually do is i just create like a so in order not to alter this other on geometry so what i do i just um extract this portion we'll call it the scalp so once we do that we just go down and we come to detach so under edit geometry you just come click the setting box right here so you just select it and you want to um, detach it as a clone so you don't just leave an open space on the head of the character so what you do now is um, type scalp because actually our hair usually goes on scalp so scalp then detach don't forget detach as clone and select ok so now we have two geometries in the scene so we have our scalp and we have the sphere so I'll, I'll name the sphere head I don't know I've never met anyone with this kind of head though but it's all good so I'll select the scalp so now if I now add my hair for modifier you can see the magic right so automatically we created hair for our, so you can even you can even open a salon for Christ's sake it's so good <laughs> just kidding anyways so um so i just created um air for my character and if we even go into um the render settings and just render it won't show anything right now but after the render then now it renders um the hair because that's where hair and form modifier works after it for the very renders the hair because now i think it's still um rendering now so we can actually convert this to geometry i'm talking about the hair itself but for simulation's sake, you need to like just leave it like this. So this is it. 
Now, another thing about this um, hair and form modifier is that you can actually style your hair to your taste. Okay, so let's say we want to make this guy's hair um, longer. So what we'll do is just come straight down. And we'll, there's this um, box right here, style hair. So you just select style hair and um, you just you can just move it around wherever you want. So it's more like you're using a comb. So it's more like a comb. So just so so actually what I'm doing right now is we're translating the hair. So we have um the hair brush, we have the hair cut. So you can use this to cut the hair. Maybe you want hair to be lower at the back, like we guys usually like it though. So I'm cutting the hair at the back right now. Hi Tade, what's up? Okay, so um come back to, to the back view so it doesn't look like he's bowed or something so just go ahead and trim the hair okay so this is good so you can just do a whole lot with the hair and form modifier in 3d x max you can um i think in in maya it's um they use x gen but this has been in 3d x max for like forever and i've been doing a whole lot with it but you know at times it just takes time to compute so i'd rather just go for but it's still great you can see how i can move the hair around so well and just style it whichever way i want okay this is good so let's say i want to increase the length of the hair like i said um <laughs> got you um thanks study um so let's say i want to increase the so i'll just scroll down um so there is another um, list of tools right here. So we have um, this strand. This strand. So you know what, what we mean by strand. Everybody knows strand. So it's just one part of your hair. So you can just pick the hair like one by one each strand. You can do a whole lot with it. Um, with this um, with this um, modifier, it's really cool. So let's just play with everything. We're like we are like a kid in the playground right now. Just do whatever we want. We're not paying for this right now. Okay, so. So just keep working. So let's say I wanted to do this. You can do this. So um, the thing is the possibilities are just like endless right now. I don't know what you want to achieve with your project, but this is, I think this is really cool. Yeah. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but just been busy. And I can see how good my... Um, Cloth simulation tutorial is doing on YouTube, man. It's it's just mind blowing. I can't believe I'm doing that well on YouTube, on just one video. But I know we can still reach a million, right? Okay, so yep. Let me bring this back a little bit. So, and aside from styling, you can still increase um, the way your hair looks. Maybe you want a, an afro or something. So uh, we we'll come to tools and um, i'm trying to get the presets so we have presets so under tools we have um load presets so you can select load preset then it opens this um dialog box with a uh, different type of hairstyle so we have afro we have um the whole um but i don't really like any of this i'll just i like to do my stuff from scratch but i can just double double um double click on it and select it so now the hair has turned black so instead of going down the hair settings and doing all the work can just let the preset do it for you but let's just do our thing man let me freeze this so it doesn't get in the way anymore i'm going to reply all the comments as soon as i'm done i'll be done now so so i'll just keep um so let's scroll down so i want to show you this um part of the hair and four settings so it's called general parameters um Tade, this is 3dx max by the way so to the XMA 2018. Yep. So I'm going to increase the hair count. I thought I froze this mesh. Okay. I'm doing that now. Reselection. Back here. Okay. So I'm going to increase the hair count. You can see the way, the, um, the moment I'm increasing it, it's not waiting for it to uh, like simulate or anything. It's just doing it right away. So it's, it's just crazy. Like this is, this is mind blowing. I'm telling you. So I can just get up like, okay, nah, it's not bad. So um, the segments as well. So how many segments? You can see the moment I increase the segment, it just increase the, um, the hair density. 
so you can just keep going and i can also work with the density density is already on 100 right now if i bring it down it just reduces the hair right i want that on 100 this guy is looking like elvis right now but it's all good so root tick you can do that as well <sighs> okay um so um there's also a parameter called i like playing with this a lot the first parameter when you increase that you can see the magic let me just zoom in so you see this properly yep so um, the last part of it, I, uh, although I said I don't want to show um, how we're going to animate this, like make it simulate or anything, but I'm just going to make this head move a bit, then you see what this thing actually does. So I'm going to go back and unfreeze all. So I'll select this guy, and I'll need to select my scalp and link it to the head. So I'm, I've done a tutorial on this before, but I'm just going to show you again. So I'm going to select the scalp and click select and link. So I'm just going to drag and I'm going to make it. So the moment you eat um, the head, um, that's the sphere, the head model, it's just I lice around it with this yellow um, checker or ch yellow marker or whatever. I don't know. So you just release that and it's linked. So whatever I do with this head, the character's head, then it just moves. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a keyframe at frame zero. So press N for auto key. I'm just going to move this guy this way. Then we'll move to frame um, 100. Then I'll move him right here like this. Then, so if I scroll back, then you can see the character moving. But because I hate uh, linear animation, I'm going to put on hacking this a little bit. So I'm just going to move him up around from 45. So now it's dropping like so. Yeah. Okay. So let's do a little bit of rotation towards the hand so it just drops back then make him do this okay good so for those of you watching on instagram make sure you go check this out on youtube by the way um yeah because there is no way i can record two screens i'm not using a samsung phone there is this samsung phone that does that right now but uh, i don't know okay so great so the next thing i want to do now is just simulate so for simulation i might have to pause the video for a bit then i'm select my hair I'll go back to the settings on um, the modify panel scroll down to dynamics then um, we have three options for the dynamics we have we computed as if you just simulate your animation then you check it out later on or you can just have everything live so if I select live um, this is magical I, I love this so if I select live whatever I do in the viewport the hair just moves it just moves with the mesh um, moves with the um, the object so now check this out I'm, I'm scrolling my timeline and this is happening. I just want to, I'm, I, I deselected everything so you can see this properly. I'm scrolling my timeline and this is just moving. This is crazy, man. Like, <sighs> I love 3DX Max so much and they just deliver on. And the thing is, this, this modifier has been here for a while, but I see a lot of people not utilizing it. I just love the simulation. It's, it's dope. So what I'm going to do now is I don't even need to simulate for you guys to see. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hand this tutorial right here. But before I do that, I'm going to um, show you one more trick. So let's say you just want to have this out. Uh, you want to see the computation like sm in a smoother fashion. So what I'll do is I'll go to, um, you can see this plus sign right here. Just click it. Then you go scroll down, um, create preview and um, then create um, preview animation. Then I do this a lot when I'm working on an animation. So uh it just makes life easy for me, honestly. So rendering a whole sequence, I just have to do this. And in Maya, it's called play blasting, by the way. So just this Maya, those Maya fans out there, before they eat me up. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm, re I'm previewing this. Okay, no, let me cancel that. Let me cancel that. Let me cancel that. Boom. Stop, don't play. Okay, so I'm gonna do that again, but this time. I'll make sure it's not on high quality because man, it's not worth it. So I'm just gonna select standard, then I'll do that. Great. My I'm using an helium way by the way, so it's might not be that fast in computing, but it's not bad. It's not the worst out there. It's really cool. So we're halfway. Okay, let me reply to you guys. Uh who's back? Oh, thanks. What's with this black smiley I use in Taiwo? 
I don't get it though. But like you I'll get gang, yeah. Bad like really? Okay. Okay, so um, I'm switching my screen so you can see what I'm saying right now. Okay. Oh, let's do this. You can see the way the hair moves, man. This is just magical, like right now. Like without computing, without simulating, without calculating anything, the hair just moves with the mesh. So. Uh, in my next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to simulate it, then actually cash it out. And so, um, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for sticking around, man. This means a lot. I like that. I like the fact that uh, you guys came out to watch. I mean, it's really great. I'm going to be leaving it out on leaving this live video out there for a while, so the others can see it. I know some people are at work right now. So, yeah. Bye, guys.